Our Bronson Health Chat segment for this week, Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy. It's being used to treat wounds. What is it? How does it work? We turn to the experts. Clarence Spoltheis is a respiratory therapist in hyperbarics at Bronson Methodist Hospital and joins us for our Bronson Health Chat this week on WKZO. Good morning. Good morning, Ken, um, and thank you very much for this opportunity to tell people about our hyperbaric program at Bronson. Well, I'm uh, happy to have you here, and I'm anxious to hear more about this. So what is hyperbaric oxygen therapy? Well, hyperbaric treatment is when we have patients in a chamber that's filled with 100% oxygen, and it's under pressure. We do hyperbaric to help non-healing wounds heal. Um, the chamber is acrylic, which is very much like being in a glass tube. So when a patient is in the chamber, they're able to see everything around them. And we even have TVs mounted above the chambers so the patients can actually watch TV shows or movies during the treatment to help pass the time. Well, how does it actually uh, work to heal the wounds that we're talking about? Well, it's not that complicated. Uh, Breathing 100% oxygen under pressure helps grow small blood vessels. Uh, Most patients, uh, when they start out, are a little nervous at first because doing hyperbaric is quite unusual, and um, it just puts people a little on edge. However, after a couple of sessions, it does become very routine for most patients. It's easy to communicate with the staff. All they have to do is talk, and we hear them, and, of course, we're always going to be right there. And we're able to talk to them without any difficulty as well. So you take uh, time to prepare patients for uh, a trip into the chamber then? Oh, most definitely. Um, We uh, always will pre-screen patients and make sure um, that we're doing it for the right reasons and have a great chance for success. Um, People with diabetes or have had radiation treatments for various cancers, they uh, end up with a loss of a lot of those small blood vessels. So they can benefit from hyperbaric oxygen treatments because we will, again, regrow those small vessels. Claire, some, oh, sure. go, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, some of the other conditions we entreat um, in hyperbaric would be bone infections, um, radiation injuries to the urinary or GI tracts. As I already mentioned, diabetic wounds is something we treat. Even skin grafts if they are starting to fail. Um, some people even get radiated for various mouth cancers, that sort of stuff, and that affects the jawbone. Um, if they need a tooth extraction or something, hyperbaric is recommended prior to any of those types of extractions. Clarence Bolheis is with us, a respiratory therapist in hyperbarics at Bronson Methodist Hospital. So uh, how long do these treatments last? How long are you actually in the chamber? Are there different uh, factors involved in how long and how many treatments uh, someone might need? Well, hyperbaric, um, we have the patients in the chamber for actually two hours, okay, in the chamber. Um, The number of treatments that we do um, will vary based on what we are trying to to treat. Um, 30 to 40 treatments is not uncommon, though. Some patients require a little more treatment. Some need uh, a little less. Um, We see our patients Monday through Friday. We have set times, so we kind of get into a routine, as I mentioned before. Um, And we also expect to see results after about 15 treatments. If we're not seeing those positive results, we generally would stop at that point because we don't obviously want to take up so much of a person's time um, if we're not seeing a a good improvement. However, when we do see improvement, we get very encouraged to keep going until we get the wound healed or whatever the problem is that we're seeing the patient for is resolved. How many of these chambers do you actually have at Bronson? At Bronson, we have two chambers, and actually, I'm glad you asked that question because we just purchased a brand new chamber um, and just had it installed February 9th of this year. Uh, We're really excited. The patients are very happy with it. Um, They seem very comfortable in it. We're able to have a little bit more control of the environment around them to keep them cool or to keep them warm as needed, and again, the patients are really liking it. Well, if uh, someone has questions about uh, this kind of treatment, whether it would be right for them, where can they find out more about it? We actually do encourage patients to call us. Um, I'm going to give you the phone number, and that's uh, 269, of course, 341-7778. And if they call us, they get our department directly, and we can go into a lot more detail as to um, exactly what would occur, and we also kind of do a little pre-screening. So to, again, make sure that we're doing this for the right reason, uh, we want to definitely 
make sure that we're, if we're doing it for the right reason, we're not going to take up patients' time needlessly. Our physician, uh, Dr. James Kratz, um, is the hyperbaric director, and he would uh, have a consultation with the patient to make sure that this could be done safely for them and that we're going to have a very good chance for success. Clarence Baldheis, respiratory therapist in hyperbaric oxygen therapy at Bronson Methodist Hospital in our Bronson Health Chat this morning. Very interesting stuff here, Clarence. Thank you so much for sharing it with us this morning. Well, thank you, Ken. I, again, appreciate the time uh, that you gave us and uh, our opportunity to tell people about hyperbaric. Our pleasure.